What's going on everybody? Mike Paldino here at Evolution Grappling Academy. Uh, recently I had some requests for wrist locks. We're going to go on into those. Real quick, wrist locks are legal in IBJJF from blue belt right on up. Um, so I think they're great to learn early on. They're very, very sneaky and they can build up a lot of power very quick. So please be careful with them. And uh, without further ado, let's go into them. So let's go over the principles first. The first principle or the, the first type of wrist lock is the, the bend of the wrist down. This is called the gooseneck style, okay? I'm bringing his fingers towards the bottom of his forearm here. The second one's called the stop sign, like that. I'm bringing his fingers to the, towards the top of his forearm backwards, like he's saying stop. Um, and another great one is the spiraling uh, torque or the spiral fracture. I'm bringing the pinky towards the thumb and it creates a coil in his arm. So the wrist pops and it also pops the... Uh, the forearm, fractures the forearm in that spiral motion. So starting off in side control or top half guard, these are two great spots to get it. I'm here with my pressure. I swim my left arm over his head and I start to turn my chest up because exactly what he's doing, he's going for the underhook. So one more time, I swim my left arm over. As he starts to go for the underhook, I gotta catch. So I purposely let him get just his hand in and I bring my elbow tight down and I'm pinching his hand so it's trapped. My right hand now swims underneath and grabs his bicep and it drives his elbow to the mat. Left hand comes over and grabs his elbow. My right hand gets like a figure four grip. And now look what I have. I have that gooseneck wrist lock so I bring shoulder pressure down just like this to get that. Okay, one more time. I swim my hand over. I start to turn my chest up. This forces him to uh, start to get his underhook. I keep my elbows tight right here, trapping his wrist and trapping his hand. I swim my right arm through. I punch his elbow to the mat. I grab his elbow with my left hand, figure four grip, and now I use my chest and my shoulder to steer to my wrist lock with pressure, okay? So that's my stop sign, uh, wrist lock from side control. Um, the, I'm sorry, that's my gooseneck. Now the stop sign here is when this guy's working his frame, so he's in this position here, okay? I push the hand down, I swim over the top, and I grab his elbow here, okay? Two hands on his elbow, I turn his elbow out, and look what I do, I throw like a shoulder jab, and I drive my chest pressure in here, just like that. One more time, it's from like a frame here, he's framing, I drop, swing my hand over, grab his elbow, start to steer his elbow out, get that shoulder pressure in, and I hit that wrist lock there. So the first one we did was a gooseneck, okay, when he goes for the underhook, and the second one we did was when he goes for the frame, we do the stop sign wrist lock, okay? Now we're gonna go and do um, one from open guard. All right, this guy, he's trying to pass my open guard. He grabs my lapel, okay? So what I wanna do is I stuff his wrist down, I grab two hands behind his elbow, and I pinch my elbow super tight. This is what's important. He grabs my lapel, two hands, Elbow, I'm making sure I'm building up pressure at my rib cage and blocking his elbow so he can't pull his arm out here. Head goes down and I'm gonna pull down and hump my chest into this. And that one, depending on the pressure, will turn his wrist either into a stop sign or into the gooseneck. Either one of those are possible here. Pop, two hands on his elbow. Elbows, you squeeze your elbows tight together. My head is down and I'm gonna pull his wrist into my ribs and I'm going to expose my ribs out. Just like that, sorry, okay? Same thing from the standing position here. Um, maybe he gets lazy, he, he grabs here, I push down, right here, two hands behind his elbow, my elbows are tight, and I start to put pressure forward on that. One more time, and again, that's either gonna create two ways. It's gonna build up so much pressure that when he tries to pull his hand away, it forces like a stop sign. Okay, turn your knuckles out. This type of pressure here, or it might turn his pressure in and I might get the gooseneck, either of those. Um, and the last one is the uh, Cody guy. Actually, it's more of a, um, a keto wrist lock, um, but it's totally possible to do when you get someone grabbing at you. I see grip just like this, okay? This guy's grabbing at me, I see grip his hand here. I'm gonna take my uh, index finger and grab on his palm, and my thumb is gonna grab at his uh, pinky knuckle, okay? So, just like this. My other hand comes in, reinforces that grip here, and I'm gonna turn his pinky towards his thumb, just like this, over the top here, and I get a spiral um, wrist lock there. So I, I grab his wrist, and sometimes you can get right on it, boom, you grab right here, you get your adjustment in. And look what's important here, this pinch here. My index finger is here, my thumb is behind his pinky knuckle, and look at this power that I'm generating here, twisting towards this way, 
and down just like that. So let's see it fast. This guy grabs at me, I stop, I grab here, I turn right towards him just like that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy these sneaky, sneaky wrist locks. As always, uh, drill it till you kill it. Hit me up with your requests. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share. Oos.